Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to cook some braised short ribs in the slow cooker. First we're going to need some thyme and rosemary, some fresh garlic and onion, and some flour. We also have a little bit of tomato paste we're going to put in and beef stock. So first what we're going to do is salt and pepper our flour and mix that in. Uh, we are going to need this to coat our short ribs. So once we get that mixed up, what we want to do is take our short ribs and we want to coat each side, top and bottom, everything, coat it really well. And then once that is done, we are going to put it in a hot skillet with a little olive oil. So what's, what we want is a nice brown crust on our short ribs. So take a look at this. Look how beautiful that crust is. That is what you want. So you want to flip it over. You want to make sure you cook on all sides. And you don't have to worry about cooking through. It's going to cook in the slow cooker. We are just crusting the outside. And that flour is going to help us do that. So once we have everything turned around, it's going to take a few minutes. Uh, make sure it's like a medium high heat on your stove. You want to make sure that's cooked just nicely on the outside. So look how beautiful these look. All sides are nicely browned. And while that's going, I chopped up an onion and a few cloves of garlic. So once these short ribs are done browning, I'm going to go ahead and put them all in our slow cooker and let that kind of just hang out there for a little while until I get everything else done. Next, I'm gonna cook up some bacon and it's gonna be an amazing addition to our dish. I cut up uh, little tiny pieces of bacon and I'm just gonna make sure that's all browned through and cooked and nice and crispy. So once that's done, I'm gonna drain it on a paper towel. Yum, look at that bacon, oh my goodness. And while that's dry, uh, drying, I am going to saute my onions and what, I just put a little bit of olive oil in the pan and I'm sauteing these until they're translucent and just slightly brown. And I have my garlic chopped up here. So once my onions are done, I'm gonna put my garlic in. The garlic does not take that long to cook. You don't wanna burn your garlic, so be very careful because um, that could add a bitter taste. Once that is just about done, I'm gonna put a big spoonful of tomato paste in my pan and just cook that a little bit. It adds a nice texture and flavor to our dish. I'm gonna mix that around a little bit um, with our onions and garlic. So once that's mixed up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of our beef stock. So this is gonna help us kind of completely mix everything together. And then we can add this into our crock pot as well. So it's gonna heat that through, mix that all up. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. I cannot wait to eat this. So here are our short ribs in our crock pot. We are gonna go ahead and add our cooked bacon. We have our onions and garlic and our cooked beef broth. And we have our thyme and rosemary. I just got a bunch that I'm gonna add in there. It's gonna add a beautiful flavor to it. And now we're gonna get like a box, maybe a box and a half of beef stock and add that into the crock pot. This is gonna help cook it through. Um, you don't wanna completely submerge the short ribs. You just almost, it's almost completely covered though. Next, we're gonna put our crock pot on low for eight hours. So while this is cooking, you can go back to your day, run your errands, and you kind of set it and forget it, which is so great about these crock pots. So I go ahead and put that at eight hours, and that's it. So next I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes. What I do is I peel and cut up some Yukon potatoes in cold water in a pot and turn the oven or the stove top on. You wanna make sure the water is cold so the potatoes cook all the way through at the same time. Once it's fork tender, I'm gonna add a few pads of butter, maybe like a half a stick of butter. Um, and I'm gonna put that in. 
and I have some sour cream in here as well, some salt and pepper, some milk. And what I'm gonna do is get my immersion blender is what I use to mix my potatoes. You can use whatever you have, a mixer, a smasher, whatever you have. I like it really creamy. I know some people like it with lumps and all that stuff, but we love it creamy. And to be sure to test, uh, taste your potatoes, make sure it has enough salt and pepper in it. Um, it's gonna be delicious. Oh, look how creamy and yummy. Okay, maybe it has a few lumps. And here is our short ribs after eight hours. Look how beautiful they are. So I have a couple pieces of bread, our short ribs, our gravy from the crock pot left over from the short ribs, which is tastes amazing. Look how fork tender that is. Thank you guys so much.